Hello, and welcome to the Protective Behaviors Training Program. This is a required training to volunteer with Special Olympics Maryland. Our training will cover um, the protection of athletes and volunteers, uh, reminders of appropriate behaviors, um, and some warning signs of sexual, physical, and emotional abuse and how to report those. The protection of our athletes and volunteers uh, is of the utmost importance to Special Olympics Maryland. Um, and we take the following actions to protect our athletes. We provide an online and printed protective behaviors training, which is this. Um, we have a volunteer screening process for the United States programs. Um, we have a code of conduct for athletes and coaches, volunteers and family members, um, and policies prohibiting volunteers or staff in authority positions from dating athletes. In United States programs, including Maryland, uh, the goal is to protect the safety and well-being of our athletes. Special Olympics Maryland screens pr prospective Class A volunteers um, and re-screens every three years. Volunteers under the age of 18 provide a student minor reference form. Volunteers 18 and older take part in a criminal background check. Who is a Class A volunteer? Um, a Class A volunteer is someone who works with Special Olympics and Special Olympics Maryland uh, that has regular, close, and physical contact with athletes. Um, they are in a position of authority or supervision over athletes or volunteers. Um, they are in a position of trust of athletes and their families, um, and they can handle a substantial amount of money, um, information, or other assets of the program. Examples of Class A volunteers are coaches, unified players and teammates, chaperones, overnights host, athlete leadership mentors, uh, game ma games management team members and sports management team members, fundraising event committee members, um, and board members. Really, the definition of Class A volunteer is dependent on the role that they serve. So um, if you are not sure whether you are a Class A volunteer or not, uh, please email volunteers at somd.org um, and we will provide that information based on the role that you currently serve. Um, Special Olympics Maryland does a background screening uh, process for all Class A volunteers. Um, and for those who are 18 and over, and a student minor reference check for those who are 17 years of age and under. Um, volunteer screening is used to help protect athletes, but it certainly is not foolproof. Please know that many predators um, do not have criminal records, um, and our job as volunteers and staff members is to be vigilant and report uh, any behavior or activity that does not appear appropriate based on your personal experience or warning signs that are identified in this training. We do have codes of conduct uh, for Special Olympics Maryland and codes of conduct are in effect and enforced for athletes, coaches, volunteers, and family members. Um, they are minimum standards set by Special Olympics um, and they include references to the prohibition of volunteers or athletes or staff members dating athletes. Um, they check with local special, please check with Special Olympics programs if there's more restrictive uh, codes for that program. Ours can be found on our website, www.somd.org. Um, and each program, such as Maryland, is responsible for establishing our own guidelines in addition to those uh, found in the codes of conduct by Special Olympics. So the um, international codes of conduct uh, can be found at specialolympics.org um, using the program locator, and you can find the codes of conduct for athletes, coaches, and volunteers. Um, recognizing predatory behavior. So a sexual predator can really be anyone. Um, they, they tend to target vulnerable population um, and individuals with intellectual disabilities are a vulnerable population. Um, they can come from all backgrounds. Um, they can be male or female um, and generally they are very likable um, and have warm personalities. Um, they tend to be around people. They may have limited relationships with adults. Um, and please know that not all volunteers at events are screened. Those uh, individuals who are day of volunteers, um, who are not in close proximity to athletes or um, handling money or supervising other volunteers, you know, not on the management team, would not be uh, included in a background screening. Um, 
When looking out for the best interest and safety of athletes, it's important that any athletes who require assistance with changing, toileting, showering should, should and must have two Class A volunteers present. Um, that's really important for the protection of both the athletes and the volunteers. Um, volunteers who are in day of roles who are coming to uh, help with scoring, timing, and those types of things would not be and should not be in a position um, where they are assisting with changing, toileting, or showering. Um, our athletes do have uh, support from coaches and other Class A volunteers to assist with those, uh, those things. Uh, private conversations with athletes should be within sight of others that are aware of the conversation um, so that we ask that volunteers do not go off you know one-on-one -on -one, uh, for a conversation or any any reason with athletes um, hugs uh, should respect both athlete and volunteer limits and never be secretive um, a long time ago uh, volunteers for special olympics programs were called huggers um, but we have certainly uh, moved away from that terminology um, for many reasons, but um, we do ask that, you know, this is based on comfort of you and the athlete. High fives, uh, fist bumps are fantastic. Um, if an athlete chooses to give a hug, that's also, they should also respect your limits as well. Um, and we just ask that those remain appropriate. Um, and general rule, touching should avoid areas that a traditional swimsuit will cover. Things to be aware of um, are to uh, be aware of unusual or inappropriate gifts, trips, affection, or attention from a volunteer directly to an individual athlete or small group of athletes. Um, be aware of relationships between volunteers and athletes that become private or secretive, um, and be clear and direct in pointing out inappropriate behavior to staff members and management team members. Inappropriate behavior, um, you might, you could see would be things like invitations for sleepovers at a volunteer's house, invitations to parties at a volunteer's house where parents or, or care providers are not included, um, or excessive displays of interest in a particular athlete or group of athletes. If there's travel involved with your team or Special Olympics program, uh, and it is, it includes overnight, we're going to be sure to separate sleeping rooms by gender that is required. Um, we will also try to assign roommates based on similar age, maturity, and size. Um, working with other volunteers, other Class A volunteers who are present, we will establish a plan for checking on each room and athlete throughout our trip. And then make sure that we clearly explain rules and behavior, expectations of both chaperones and athletes before each trip. Um, oftentimes, uh, programs will require that chaperones, athletes, and, and parents who are accompanying um, and traveling separately do sign a code of conduct as a reminder that they are in place, whether we are in Maryland or out of state at another event. Emotional abuse. Um, at Special Olympics events, uh, profanity should never be uh, used in the direction of athletes describing performance, attitude, or anything like that. Um, we want to make sure that we are treating athletes with respect and provide encouragement, uh, that we are not being demeaning uh, to our athletes um, with nicknames, with words. And this is even, even includes um, among teammates um, what some teams may consider um, fun banter between teammates uh, can, can also be inappropriate. So we just want to make sure that teammates aren't using demeaning nicknames or words when talking about each other. Um, and discipline uh, should be part of a meaningful behavior modification strategy and never acted on in anger. So should the need for a conversation or um, kind of punitive sanctioning um, arrive, arise, it should be done for behavior modification and not out of anger or frustration. Similarly, corporal punishment is never allowed um, no matter who says it's okay. So there is no physical punishment allowed with Special Olympics Maryland. Um, withholding food or water is uh, maltreatment and strictly prohibited. Um, now, I do want to point out that uh, there's a difference between withholding food and water and a coach saying, as an example, we're about to run your race in 15 minutes. We will wait till after you run to get lunch. Um, that's 
that's good coaching while someone's saying, no, you did not perform well. So you're not, you know, eating lunch today. That's withholding food. So there is a difference there. And we just want to be mindful of that. Um, we want to only give prescribed medications in accordance with state regulations. Um, and certainly uh, the diverse needs of our athletes, some can have sensitivity to temperature, sound and touch. So we want to make sure that we are taking that into account uh, in the environments where we are. How to recognize abuse. Abuse causes stress and victims often exhibit stress-related behaviors such as depression, uh, withdrawal, which is a loss interest in participation with others in activities, um, perhaps thoughts or attempts of suicide, um, aggression, immature acts, disturbance in sleeping patterns, um, but please know that abuse can still be present without indicators. Um, sometimes statements can be made by athletes or volunteers concerning inappropriate touching or physical harm, and we certainly want to take all of those uh, statements seriously. Um, and then physical indicators of abuse can include questionable injuries and bruises, um, marks or rope burns, and injuries to genital areas. If you feel that any activity is suspicious, you should re report that to Special Olympics Maryland staff members. Uh, reports will be reviewed and reported as appropriate. Uh, suspensions may be utilized during investigations and Special Olympics reserves the right to expel athletes or volunteers um, through our, our uh, conduct process. When you are reporting sus suspicious behavior, uh, please be specific. Um, let us know what makes you think this activity is suspicious when you witness the activity and when you first suspected this activity. All important facts that you should be prepared to talk about when relaying information to Special Olympics Maryland staff members. Um, so absolutely keep Special Olympics Maryland staff members informed at Special Olympics functions. Um, if you think there is immediate danger, please notify the police and then Special Olympics Maryland staff members. Um, Report as required by your state statutes in addition to reporting to Special Olympics. And reporting is not the same as accusing. If you're reporting, you're just relaying information. Um, it's not done in, in an accusatory uh, fashion. It's just providing um, information to those who need that behavior, so that, who, who need that information so that the behavior can be investigated. Um, it's important to check uh, childwelfare.gov to see if you were um, a mandatory reporter. Nearly all states have laws that require some individuals to report sus suspected abuse. In some states, everybody is a mandatory reporter. Um, so it's best to use childwelfare.gov to understand um, the regulations where you are. Thank you for taking part in this quick training. Um, should you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to uh, volunteers at somd.org. We hope that uh, volunteering is um, I apologize for that. An enjoyable experience for you and a safe experience for you. Um, and that we are uh, looking out for the best interest of our athletes as we go through the many Special Olympics events and volunteer opportunities that are provided for you. At this time, you can visit somd.org to print out the Protective Behaviors Quiz um, and submit it based on the instruction provided. Thank you.